need to be a politician to feel the pain of the people whose lives were lost, of the people who were tortured, of the people who were hurt, of the people like, I, aren't you human? Did you sell that part of yourself before getting into music? Like, what the actual fuck? Da -da -da. You made a mic, yo. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, you're very much welcome. Please do consider subscribing and checking out my other videos. For those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in once more. Thank you. So like, you guys don't even know how much it means, but yeah, it means a lot. So thank you so much. Okay. So today I am representing Cameroon Babe full time. Like I mean my Kabangondo. I don't know if you guys know that song. That song Kabangondo. Yeah, I'm representing. I'm not from the French side anyways, but Cameroon is Cameroon. So yeah, today guys I am going to be talking about the Anglophone crisis and I real I know I expect that some of y'all would be like, so why are you talking about it right now? when there's the NSAS thingy going on like did you need to wait for that to happen before you realize that there's stuff going on in your country well that's actually why I'm here today that's actually the inspiration behind today's video so here goes nothing I as a Cameroonian a non-Nigerian who is not currently in Cameroon or in Africa would never have known that there's something happening in Nigeria currently if my friends or friends of friends didn't post about it you understand so basically it just got me thinking like so that means those people that are outside those people that are, that are out in the diaspora might not know things that are actually happening back home if we as individuals do not take it as a personal a personal um i don't know responsibility to let the world know this is what is happening back home like i've spoken to a number of of of, of nigerians about what happened to cameroon and they, they can't really very much relate to it you understand like okay in my church um there was an award that was given to a cameroonian she, i think okay she 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 gave she was doing something good for the youth what she did was she gave a I think she gathered some people, gathered donations and then gave to the displaced people back in Cameroon. Because of that she was kidnapped. Like her whole story was narrated during the, the award um, show. So I, now the people who were watching, most of them were Nigerian. So they were like, oh my god, oh my. Like they couldn't really relate to what was happening. And it just got me thinking like, do we realize how many people out there are so uninformed about what is actually currently happening in Cameroon some of them think it was just a one-time thing some of them think it was just a very very minute population of course um, Northwest and Southwest constitute the small population the smaller population of Cameroon but then doesn't change that we are humans let me not even go into that like yeah so the whole idea of today's video is to encourage us Cameroonians okay let me just give this other testimony so recently there was the Kumba thing that happened to um, children were killed and I heard about it because I saw it from someone's status I'm currently not in Cameroon and all my family members that are in Cameroon are not in Kumba or any of those directly affected places so practically the only way I would know is from another person. You understand? Like if if nobody decides to share the information, I wouldn't know. And so go same goes for many Cameroonians out there. You understand? So the alright, so now this is another thing. I have several Cameroonians contacts on my phone. I would probably have never heard about it if they didn't it, it, they decided not to post and mind you which is super strange i saw it only on one of the several cameroonians peop, uh, cameroonians i have on my phone just one of them posted and then i started inquiring like what's going on what's going on before i could hear the complete story so 
anyways i got to learn about it and then and then i posted myself and then fellow other nigerians started asking like ah oh, what's going on in your country and then i explained to them they they could reciprocate the the sympathy they could feel they could sympathize with me and then post it as well you understand so the point is i feel like the fact that other Cameroon, other africans did not get involved get involved in the whole scenario thing that's happening in cameroon is is um kind of i would say majorly we the cameroonians fault i feel like we did not commit ourselves enough to let the world know this is what's happening or even just as little as inform the people that are cameroonians but are currently not in cameroon you understand so and that's one thing that i will forever comment i will forever respect nigerians for every i feel like everybody took it to themselves we 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 have to at least know what's happening we have to keep people around us informed about what's happening they kept on posting they kept and that's how they could get many sponsors many even people who are not nigerians today they are reposting and reposting and the answers thing is going viral but we as cameroonians what are we doing how are we sharing this information how are we making the world know that this is what's happening i think i've rambled a little too much well so today majorly i was i wanted us to talk about Cameroonian artists who sang about this this anglophone crisis just to add to that I'd like to say if you're a an influencer if you're a, a, a an artist whatever you are as far as you have fans you have people who look up to you you have a say you understand like you have something you can say and people be like oh this is a possible this is an opinion we can begin to consider you you get so it gets me thinking like if you're an artist you have people who follow you and all and then you do not even take out the a second of your time to maybe just sympathize with the lives that were lost and i'm like okay recently i heard of uh, of of okay there was this guy who came up online i was saying like they tried to to gather other Cameroonian artists to talk about the anglophone crisis and but upon trying to get to them they were like oh please we are not we are not politicians we are just entertainers and i'm like you don't need to be a politician to feel the pain of the people whose lives were lost of the people who were tortured of the people who were hurt of the people like i aren't you human did you sell that part of yourself before getting into music like what the actual fuck so guys um i went back to check i went back to check to see how many minutes i have been rambling for turns out i've been rambling for really so much time so the whole idea was for me to do a video about artists that have sung cameroonian artists who have sung about the anglophone crisis right but i've already used so much time to ramble so i'm gonna postpone it for a next video i'm probably gonna post them at with um the interval of time between both videos is gonna be very short so you can easily find the next one so if you're watching this video please watch out for the next video which is gonna be the, about cameroonian artists who have who sang about the anglophone crisis so now that we have that out of the way i guess i can ramble some more <laughs> well i just want to say i just want to say um i just want to say this this whole thing that's happening in cameroon is 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 very hurtful and the 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 more the part that's even more hurtful is the fact that it is four years now like i feel like some people don't even realize it is for do you know how much four years is four years of people living god four years of people constantly living in fear that someday some group of people might come in and harass them four years of people constantly living in fear that some like so any minute from now there's going to be gunshots and a stray bullet can catch someone that's important to you four years of people not going to school oh i can't like i'm first hand i can totally relate to this one four years 
My God, this is four years. Like, I do not understand if we do, like, I just want to say that I feel like some of us do not really realize how much time it has been. This is four years. That's so much. And not to overemphasize on that, I just want to say, that, well, the whole essence of this video is please, Cameroonians, let's try and engage. Okay, okay. Before I go too far, there's this video I watched on Snapchat. I'm going to add it. I, I screen recorded it. I screen recorded it so i'm gonna add it for us to just listen to the girl she was rambling as well but i totally related to everything she said she was majorly talking about the fact that we cameroonians we are so bothered about things that do not concern us answers doesn't concern us of course we should we should sympathize with our fellow brothers but make sure that the sympathy you're showing for another person you've shown it to your even self like imagine a french person saying posting answers but they've never for once, they've never for once expressed care to their fellow Cameroonian brothers who are Anglophones. They've never shown care. They've never reposted. Yes, today is majorly about reposting because that's the least you can do. You can't go into the streets to go and fight the, the soldiers. Neither can you go into the streets to go and fight the, the Amber Boys. You can't do any of those. But you can as well just let the world know that this is what is happening. You do not know where help can possibly come from but at least inform people inform those who are directly concerned connected but that are un uninformed inform those who are not connected but that can do something inform those who cannot do something let me just know this is what is happening in africa in cameroon okay just make that little effort take it to yourself there are some people who would say okay i don't want to be a bearer of bad news totally understood totally understood but how about being a bearer of information huh just inform someone i'm not saying you should go and start posting people's the, the, like the head that was like disconnected from the body or the legs that was cut off don't do that please jesus you don't want to give somebody a heart attack but at least post i don't know a flyer people people usually do those things you know post a flyer post something do a write-up express your care let someone else know that this is what is happening you understand like just do that it is really as simple as that let me tell you something the french speaking part of cameroon they don't give a shit about us Whew, i feel better i have to get that out of my chest because the French speaking part of Cameroon, they don't give a shit about us. Like, I have French speaking people that I literally had to cut off because we do not have these conversations. We shy away from them. I get it. Some of them are like, I don't know what's going on. Like, yeah, I'm trying to educate you, but you just don't want to listen. I, I, now I feel like to fight. They don't want to listen. Like, they don't care. And then you want us to be united where you really don't want to share our crisis. Like, you don't want to share our pain. Like, now I'm pissed now i'm fucking pissed if you're a french speaking person and you do not talk about the anglophone crisis fuck you fuck your entire family and your entire generation because you guys are going to rot in hell i said it oh i feel better and it's crazy because when you even try to educate these people on the things that are happening in the english part they're gonna tell you that then you guys didn't strategize well oh uh, uh, okay we didn't strategize well how are you helping like how are you helping hmm now nigeria has their problem like my nigerian folks like we're really praying for you guys we hope that it doesn't get to where we are today with our country because we've been here for four years no change nothing nothing but every cameroonian people then they will never ever post about cameroonian crisis now then they post and stars if i ask you the full meaning of sars would you tell me most of you don't even fucking know the full meaning of what sars mean but you're there you're feeling free to post um some people are like just because it's not happening to us or we have our own crisis doesn't mean that. let me tell you something nigeria is the freaking closest country to cameroon when they had problems with boko haram they sent our military people my brother my fucking brother had his hand cut off because there was a gun a bullet in it so what the fuck do you mean by oh we didn't know about the crisis you fucking knew you just chose not to talk about it there's a hashtag going on right now 
and Cameroon crisis, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, post whatever thing you want to post. It might be your picture. You can post your boobs if you want. You can post your dick if you want. But put the hashtag and Cameroon crisis, please. Well, I guess the whole idea is let's just learn to sympathize with each other and let's learn to show our sympathy so um i hope you enjoyed me rambling <laughs> i think i'm getting used to rambling these days a lot especially on the camera but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed please let me know what you think if you if you, if you let me, just let me know what you think concerning the whole anglophone crisis and how it relates to the nsas thingy and how we we ourselves even we who are directly concerned are not putting in the work that we need to put in just let me know down below i i recently learned there's a, a hashtag that's going uh, on and about and anglophone crisis yeah and ang anglophone crisis please just search it tag post whatever you like on instagram post whatever you like on ig post i just said instagram and ig in the same sentence post whatever you like on whatever social media pl platform but please take out the time to just hashtag just let's know something is okay let me just give this little demonstration imagine there are 10 people there are 10 people f coming from somewhere and then they're going to a different place right and then but something bad that they're, they're going to a different place because something is pursuing them in at where they're at now they go to this different place and they start and two of them start telling people oh my god there is there is maybe let's say war or kidnappers or rapers back where we are from and that's why we're running right two people are saying it two people are saying it so seriously they're trying to inform people like oh my god there's there's war where we are from but the remaining eight of them are are just not saying anything what do you think will be the reaction of the people who are listening they'll be like okay this can't be serious if just two people are complaining <laughs> then of course it, it's not serious probably these people just made it up or they're just sick or they're wacko they can't they 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 need therapy but if we all if all the 10 of them put it upon themselves to inform these other people they'll be like oh something is actually happening because if majority is complaining then we should totally look into this you get it so i think it cannot be overemphasized let's just do what we have to do it's just take it upon yourself as an individual it's as little as that post it tell someone tell inform people maybe you're not directly concerned directly affected but there's someone that you care about that is directly affected what are you doing to help that situation okay maybe you don't want to send money probably you're broke or just stingy but at least tell someone who can just tell someone tell everyone tell anyone okay yeah enough rambling for for this week <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and my heart goes out to everyone who is directly connected yes my heart goes out to all of you i live in fear as well because i do have loved ones back home who who i know are directly affected yes so i do live in fear as well and my heart goes out to all of you um yes i do pray for you all the time and i hope this crisis this 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 fear this bloodshed gets to end sooner than later so please let us let us pray i think that is like of course Everything that's happening in Africa right now is just a sign that Jesus is coming sooner. So you might want to get your life straight <laughs> and accept Christ if you haven't yet. Because you don't want to stay behind after the, the rapture actually occurs. Because what we're seeing is going to get worse. So yeah. Stay tuned guys. Hope you enjoyed so far. I love you.